Hi, hi, hi. It's Mrs. Stitches with Sheila. Uh, I am a floss. This is a channel about floss tube and I am a cross stitcher that lives in southwest Nova Scotia in snowy southwest Nova Scotia. You know what that means. You're going to see Jimmy. Yes. I think we've actually had two snow days, but I'm in the process of stitching on him today. So you'll see a little progress and then um, he'll get more. So you probably see him next time too. So we have, I'm very disorganized. I've been really procrastinating at doing a floss tube. So um, I just like, you got to do it. Just go do it. It's funny, the more you procrastinate, the harder it gets to, to go do it. And I think if you don't take good notes, then you don't have it all sort of planned and sort of all kind of organized. Usually after my floss tube, I do good notes and then I kind of fade away a little bit, but um, I'm just gonna go with it. So hopefully I'm not too organized, disorganized. Um, I will do the giveaways right off the top here. So um, I have done, uh, the way I do giveaways is I actually take your comments. I, I as soon as I see the comments, I usually like, and then I uh, answer it and I put it into um, a decision wheel. And so I had uh, five different decision wheels and was it five? No, it was six, six different decision wheels and I have all the names and then I spin it. So I made a screen recording of me spinning it. I did it right now, right before this floss tube. Oh, today's date is, wow, this is actually gonna be a tough one. It's April, um, it is, Thursday. I believe Monday was the first. first second, third. Yes, today is the 4th, April 4th, 2024. <laughs> um, it's been a bit of a roughish couple of weeks, so um, sort of bear with me. Okay, so um, I do have notes, um, and I think I'm going to first insert, if I haven't done it already, I'm going to insert the winner video. It's about five minutes long, uh, right here, right off the start. So insert it here. So here we are for the giveaway. I What I have done, let's see if I can do this. Oh, I can move the recording part, is I have, as people put comments in, I enter them into um, a wheel. Um, so we have who wins the river, who wins strawberry fields, who wins bell, Bay's bell pole, who wins tea time, who wins ferret, who wins bird chart. We're gonna start with bird chart. There were nine people entered. Hopefully I got everybody. Um, if I made a mistake, I apologize, but here we go. The winner of the bird chart is Teresa Chuckle. Teresa is a long time watcher and long time commentator. Um, oh, and I'll just say right at the start here, if you win in another one, I'm going to respin. Um, you only can win once, which is sort of standard. But congratulations, Teresa, you won the St. Patrick, the Heart and Hand St. Patrick Bird chart. Yay, I should write this down. I'm going to pause. Okay, now we'll get the next one. Who wins the ferret chart? I see she's already entered. I could edit her out, but let's just see how lucky she was. And we'll just, just go with it and see. See, she didn't even win anyways. Dana Simmons. Dana Simmons won the ferret chart. Now, I am hope I, I got people's... Um, YouTube is really weird. It sometimes shows one username and sometimes it shows another um, so anyways, hopefully that, uh, is good. I will do screenshots of the comments so that people can see their comments. Tea time, there were six people entered. I actually don't see any of our repeats, so this will be good. Roxanne Green. Roxanne Green is a longtime commenter 
And I will call her my friend because she is my friend. She's very, very kind always. And so that's very nice. I, I, I already have her address, but it would be nice if she actually sends it to me again. I will ask everybody to send me their address. Okay. Uh, who wins the main moon phase bell pull? This was one of the more popular ones. Let me see how many options there were. 12 options. Yeah, this was the most popular one. So here we go. Stitching by the river. Moon phase bell pull. This is kind of cool. We haven't had a repeat yet. Because people are entered in more than one. Stitching by the river. Okay, excellent. Uh, next one, Strawberry Fields. We had 10 options. The second most popular. I love this pattern. I love all these patterns. Stephanie Gallart. This is Strawberry Fields. I love how um, even though there's repeat people in here so far, it's been unique uh, winners so far. Stephanie Gallart. Excellent. Okay, one less to, last to go and it had eight, op eight um, people entered. The river. Oh, I see I jinxed us. That's our first repeat. I'm going to go again. Ah! The river. Darlene Dion. Darlene Dion um, has her own, and you're actually going to see today, um, her own floss tube. And I actually, and she's a designer, has Etsy's, and I actually just recently stitched one of her patterns. So, Congratulations, Darlene, and there we go. Yay! Now back to our regular scheduled program. Okay, <laughs> congratulations, Teresa, Dana, Roxanne, Stitching by the River, Stephanie, and Darlene. Congratulations, everybody. I hope you enjoy stitching the charts as much as I have um, enjoyed stitching them. Um, my email I will put in the description box. I will also um, maybe make a comment on your comment too. And um, if you could um, email me your mailing address, uh, even Roxanne, I know I have yours, but it's gotten a lot. I've deleted a whole bunch. I cleaned out my email box. So if you could just email me your address again, it will save me some time and make it easier on me. So congratulations, everybody. I'm so happy for you all. Okay, so I'm going to start off. I'm uh, just going to start off with what I got written down here, and then I'll figure out if I'm missing anything. So I did get caught up. I just watched a tiny bit of my previous video until I got bored. <laughs> I bore myself. It's not a good thing. I don't know how you guys watch me, but... <laughs> I have my finished tracker. That's, I was struggling to get that word before. Um, here, so this is my finished tracker. And last time you saw this, I had just finished, I think, number uh, 14 or 15. So I now have 16 and 17 I showed you last week. And since then, I've done 18, 19, and 20. And as I look at 18, I go, what is 18? I actually know what that is and I got to dig it out because I didn't pull it out. So let me just have a quick look. I always put my, it's right here. I actually thought I'd already finished this before, but I hadn't. So good thing. I think I, good thing I make notes. So that is so far my finishes. Can you guess what the word's going to be? <laughs> Hint. Finishes. There should be 60. I'm trying to do 10 per letter. But my next letter is going to look really goofy with 10. So I actually might steal a bit and do, I might, since I'm ahead of schedule. So to get 60 finishes done in one year, calendar year, you have to do five each month. So theoretically, March just finished, I would actually be at number 15 and I'm actually at number 20. So I'm a bit ahead of the game. So I might just, even though my goal is still 60, I might set the bar, just go a little bit extra, just a little, a little extra because the N is the next letter 
and an N with 10 blocks to make the N looks really funky. And I think I'm going to have to add about three more blocks to make it look balanced or four. I'm not sure. So we'll see. We'll see. I'll have to figure that out. Okay. So let's start off with our finishes. So the first finish we have is 18, black and white. That was, I don't actually have the cover chart here with it, me. It is upstairs because it's going to be my next giveaway, which I'm going to do next time. So you'll see that again, but it's by D20 Stitches and it was called Toonies. And it was a really lovely, lovely stitch. Um, this is the same fabric that I used for ferrets. It was the leftover piece. It's a uh, picture of this plus lily pad, I believe. And um, I just used a plain black and a white and I just grabbed a turquoise, turquoise color from DMC and just stitched it up. The white doesn't pop as good as I would like there, um, but it does a bit more in person. But isn't it cute? Yeah, so that's called Toonies. Um, it's based on that in Canada, we have a loony, which was our dollar coin, and then they came out with a toonie for a $2 coin, or we called it a toonie. And so then this is a Luna, a mama loon and her baby, which is perfect for spring. So excellent. So that was a very, very nice stitch. And like I said, this will be a giveaway, the um, pattern next floss tube. Okay, so that was toonies. Then I had um, first day of spring happened. And so Darlene Dion, she lives here in Nova Scotia. Uh, she actually, as the crow flies, is only about 17 kilometers or something away. But in a car ride, it's actually almost an hour, just the way I'm at the end of a spit and then on an island. So you have to drive the island, then drive the spit, and then, then go the other way to get kind of like she's almost parallel. But she is both a floss tuber. She has far many far more follow far more more followers than me and she also has an Etsy shop and uh so she she's um and she ironically is also turning 60 this year and she is doing 60 starts and so last I, I should have clued in this before I watch her and I don't know why I didn't clue in anyways I propose to her and hopefully she'll stay true to her word um that we at the end of the year or at some time get together maybe even film and celebrate our 60 uh, starts or 60 finishes um she's already had her birthday it was just last month i believe so but she designed this and so i actually bought this whole series um they were super cheap they're about five dollars i believe uh pdf downloads off of etsy and she's got, um, they're called the sure signs of their spring, summer, winter, and fall. So I'm planning to do each one of these on the day of the solstice or equinox. And so this is the spring one. I used my own colors. I did um, a stash dive. And yeah, so that's, I think it's just adorable. I love the way this was um, one of the um, variegated uh, DMCs, um, like, a 4,000 number. I think they don't have them anymore. I had adopted somebody's stash or bought somebody's Facebook market stash. And so I have some really old DMCs and I'm not sure how many of them are available, but it was super cool. And then yeah, I just love this. So this is the Sure Signs of Spring by Darling Dion Designs and she's on Etsy. And that was, I believe I did this in one day. If not one day, it was definitely within two. It was, it may be two, but anyways, it was a fun quick stitch. And she has hers finished with a ribbon across the pot. Um, I may or may not do that, but right now it's just about stitching. So, and a Darlene actually won one of the giveaways. So you'll have seen that. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, let's see. What's the other one? Ooh, let me look at my, my thing. Oh, I know what it is. It's this. So my other one is this series that I'm doing. I'm just going to put something up behind it. So this is um, by Mary, Mary Stroll. Oh, I can't remember her name. I will try to put the link below. Uh, if you Google, I'll show you what to Google and you'll find it for sure. And it's a flower every month. And this is a daffodil, but they call it the John Quill, which I, it just, that's what it's called. I did lots of mistakes <laughs> and who cares? Who cares? So this whole flower is quite a bit 
different creative creativity but it's beautiful i really really enjoy this flower series so i'm i'm having a lot of fun kind of wish i did it all as one piece but it's kind of fun to do them as separates too so i actually look forward to these each month so that's great um so those were my three finishes um so that's me caught up i actually haven't had any more finishes since then so that was the end of march well we're only on the fourth day of april so but I have started my, so I always start off first with, let me just put this needle through to the other side so that it's a little bit not so obvious with my next tree. So these are tree series that through Victoria Samplers. I looked and you actually can't find this online. So it was through their Facebook group and they do monthly um freebies and they'll be available so this year it's um some cottages so if you want to look at, at a victoria samplers facebook group but this is the oh it doesn't really focus very well but it's going to be a willow and so it's all going to be back stitching coming down with the willow and then there, i think there's another a bunny rabbit and there's going to be a bird up in the sky so i started this a couple of days ago and i haven't obviously finished it yet i'm working on the grass right now and then I'll do all her animals are one over one. So I sort of saved those for last. So I'll do those next and then I'll do the willow last. It's going to be easy, straight back stitching. So the, the annoying part is going to be the animals at one over one. But there you go. That's the start on my willow. Theoretically, it should only take one or two days. But I got other things that excited me. So um, every... A uh, month what I'm doing is I'm trying to stitch my stash and so each month I have the tree series I have the flower series and then I have two that I spin from my stash and there will be a start on oh, hopefully a finish and then what's the third one? Oh, third one's my plaid series which I don't have a plaid series to show you yet so I usually do the tree first the plaid and I do the flower last and then I do my two spins, my two fresh starts. I was a really excited for one of my new starts. So I kind of did things out of order and I almost started it even before I started my tree. So let's show you what it is. Do I have it here? I have it here somewhere. Oh, it's right here. I have one zipper, sorry. Tried to unzip everything first, but I didn't get this one. So this is, a year in the woods the bear and why am i excited about this i'm excited about it because of the fabric and the floss so you see what they did it on you've probably seen that before i decided to go really rogue <laughs> so let me just take this out of the hoop so you can see so far it in all its glory i am substituting my own colors um Stitching from stash, that's that's my motto, sort of. And so now hopefully I have enough to do this stitching from stash. Because that's the only thing, is you don't know how much you have. But let me just fold this up a bit. And there's hanging threads, there's a needle halfway through stitching here. But this is the start of my bear. And so, on the pink, doesn't it look fantastic? This um, fabric is from Bryn and Needle. They're from Newfoundland. And um, it's, I can't remember. Oh, I got the card here. Do I have the card here? I had the card here. No, I can't see the card. It's not attached either, but I had the card. It's somewhere. I will be showing this probably. I don't know if I'll get this done this month, but I'm trying. Um, this is some gentle arts thread. I think it's dragonfly for the, um, so that would have been the same color as the bear. I am supposed to have three skeins and instead I have a 10 yard skein of Brin and Needle, a color called Mamban. And it is gorgeous. It's got reds in it, browns in it. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And then this is a smoke. I believe it also is a Brin and Needle. Mixing, yep, they're Brin and Needle. Uh, oh no, it's not smoke. It's gent gentle Jesus. What a fright. Gentle Jesus. What a fright. And 
Mabon, Mabon for the brown. It's it's got I don't know if you can see the gold the reds in it, but it's just stitches up beautifully. It's perfect for the bear. And then I have, like I said, Gentle Arts Dragonfly, and I'm using some DMCs. I changed up, and I'm really happy with this change. Um, so they were using more of a charcoal-y gray. So I'm using a much lighter gray for this part, but I did his nose in a black. So I, it, I think it stands out, oh, it fell down. Stands out rather nicely. His nose in black. Isn't that look cute? I love it. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to try and finish this this month. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. There's a lot of bear to stitch, but I probably did most of this just yesterday. So um, there's a lot. There's a lot to stitch, but it is, it is absolutely lovely. I'm so, I did stay up really late working on it, but it's, it's wonderful. Okay. So that is one of my starts and finishes for this month. The other one is one of these mini masterpieces. And I think it's a Van Gogh um, bedroom in Arles, Arles, Arles. Um, so I will try and start and finish that. I think it's only 2,000 stitches or even less. So I should easily be able to get that done in three days, maybe. So I will keep that on the list. So I'm saying so a lot. Last month. Um, no, I'm not going to get that to that quite yet. I'm going to put it on my lap so that I remember. Got a couple more things still to show you. Got these two, put them right here, and I got Astro Cat. Okay. Let's do Astro Cat next. So this is a Heaven Earth's 2024 sale. It's no longer available for people to join. Uh, we had our next part come out in April 1st, and so I'm kind of working around in different spots. Um, I will try to remember to show a picture of what it'll look like when it's done. Not sure if I'll get that or not, but we'll try. And... This is what I gotten done so far. So I am on target to finish at the end of the year. If I do finish, it'll be my first ever Heaven and Earth Designs finish. But um, yeah, that's that's uh, that's how I'm going on it. I'm really, it's it's lovely stitching on the 28, 25 count. I think it's 25 count. Uh, one over one, full cross. Um, the planets here came out gorgeous. And then this is sort of like a planet system that you'll see. And then this is the cat starting over here. So that is Astro, Astro Cat. Okay. I'll just put that away here. Okay. So now, um, oh, I'll just show you Jimmy first before I get on to a little sad news. I'll try to go through the sad news fast. Um, I got everything here. So this is Jimmy. Jimmy, I work on every snow day. Uh, we're, our snow is turning into rain now, but there we go. There's Jimmy. So Jimmy is coming along this year. So I'm way up over here that I was working on today. I'll probably still work on him a bit more. I'm just kind of working my way around. So that's Jimmy. He's doing great. So like I said, he's all done down here except backstitching. I'm like backstitching for the end. There's beading, of course. But yeah, I'm going to just work on getting all the stitching finished and then I'll get on to the back stitching. But there you go. That's Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he'll get a bit more loving today. So speaking of loving, uh, we lost one of our pets. Um, I think you briefly met him. His name was Harry. And Harry... Uh, I, ha I got Harry and Haney, two cat kittens, um, brothers and sisters, when they were kittens and loved them very much and they moved across the country and um, just really, really a sweet, sweet cat. There used to be outdoor cats and I made them indoor cats. I believe you can make any outdoor cat an indoor cat. You just have to, you have to have discipline. Um, we do it for safety. Uh, we live near a highway and we don't want them to get hurt. 
Um, Harry um, started having like skin issues and twitching and itching and they really couldn't diagnose what it was. They thought he may have been allergic to um, proteins. And so we bought specialty food, which smelled really gross. It wasn't nice like any other food. Um, but we he fed him. We had to we sometimes kind of almost force feed him, like kind of like shoved it in his mouth type thing and kind of try to get him to eat it. And sometimes he just eat the dry food. Started losing weight, a lot of weight. And he's got skinnier, skinnier. His fur got all kind of matty, even though I combed him as much as I could. Then he started over grooming and all the fur came off his belly and then he just um about a week ago um he just got really really listless listless and so we took him into the vet and and that was the end so this 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 episode is dedicated to harry and they gave us a nice card we went and picked up his ashes yesterday and that's that's almost just like Harry. It's actually like Frosty too. So I was working on this piece here. This was supposed to be my March finish. And this was a memorial piece for Frosty or other black cat who passed away the year before. Uh, it's Nightmare Before Christmas sale. And I had added the cats. I had the boat in, the whole thing, because we called her Captain Frosty. And I had put in a dedication here and her years on the side. So now I'm actually thinking of adding in Harry just down here. So I haven't finished this yet. Um, I'm not ready to work on it yet. So it's just going to stay there. I'm not even looking at the camera. Um, and I will get to it. Uh, and I think I will probably add, um, I have another uh, stitch I did, uh, Black Cat uh, Broom Company by Teresa Kogut out of her Halloween book. I'm going to insert a picture of Harry sitting with my stitch uh, when I finished it because it reminded me of him as I stitched it. I'm going to add his name and his years to that for sure. That's That to me is Harry Cat. So here's a picture of Harry and the Black Cat Broom Company. So, so that's... I. That kind of threw me for a bit of a loop. Um, it's It just is what it is. It happens when you love animals. That That's part of loving animals. Um, yeah. So um, we're now giving all our loving to all the other animals. And we just took Haney in for a checkup yesterday. And she's doing great. So that's good. So uh, we just take the best care that we can of the ones that are with us. And, there. Enough said of that. What else? Um, oh, I have one other stitch I did. Yeah. So I decided to start um, a seasonal project. So I got this uh, a while back. I don't know if I showed you guys or not, but I bought this. Uh, I actually did a little bit of uh, therapeutic shopping recently but it is they're all coming they're on their way but I think I was watching I think it's the rocking stitcher is doing um this this is um in the book and it's title what is its title I don't know if she gives titles to things she does not she does not give titles to things I'm gonna call it the seasons um all the stuff's falling down here let me just put that down there um and so it is just sort of a change of seasons type thing. So my plan is to work on it on seasonal Sundays. And so I have worked on it for two Sundays since I saw you. And so I actually have divided it up in sections and it is going to totally be doable. There is, uh, I think there's 12 weeks for each season. I counted it out. I'm sure it's 12 weeks because it's three months. But <laughs> So the first first uh, Sunday I did these bunny rabbits. And then last Sunday I did these daisies or dandelion or daffodils and the, the um, rainbow stripes down here. So that, that was my two day, first two days check. This is quite small. It's on a 20 count white. So <laughs> there you go. It'll definitely fit. So. 
Ah, uh, let's check your notes, Sheila. Um, I got some haul, which, well, not haul, but I got, I had won this in a giveaway. Um, so this is um, a Dimensions, a whole Dimensions kit called Country Girl. And I am a country girl. I know through and through that I am a country girl at heart. And so this is Country Girl. This is, um, I won this from Alara. Uh, I will tag her. Uh, she has, a, if you're not, I'm sure everyone's watching her. Amazing floss tube. Long ones. She's the epic type one. So, um, but I really, really enjoy her. And also Kaylee Tent Stitch of the Sewing Shop. Um, so as a combination, I won it through Alara's channel. And then Kaylee of the Sewing Shop sent it to me. They met up at a, um, their friends. They were at a retreat together. And so to save on the postage, Kaylee lives in Canada. Alara's in the States. So Kaylee brought it to Canada and then mailed it to me from Ontario. So thank you, uh, Alara and uh, the Sewing Shop, Kaylee. And I decided to sign up for... Uh, shopping therapy, uh, Kaylee's uh, Fabric of the Month. So you'll start seeing that. I picked one that's called Half and Half. So half neutrals and half fun colors. So we'll see how that goes. That's going to be quite exciting. Um, I wanted to do a shout out. There's this one floss tube. Again, they have far more viewers than me, but I'm going to try and do a shout out because I watch a lot of floss tubers, but cross stitch the globe. Um, I don't, they're sister, two, two sisters, sisters, and they like to do, um, she also designs, one of them she designs and has an Etsy shop, and she said a very interesting thing. She said, even if you don't buy from her shop, just go and follow her. It actually puts her, just like in Flosstube, if you like or comment or are subscribing, it puts us as a suggestion more often, it gets us more kind of into the wheels of getting more exposure. And so same thing with her Etsy shop. So she probably gets into the generalized. So she is, I believe, um, a travel writer. I think she's a writer. And she's got all these photographs from around the world. And so she's changing those photographs into cross-stitch patterns. And so that's where the cross-stitch the globe. They've also done, um, they do tutorials. They, the, the tutorials included if you buy her pattern. And uh, they also are doing um, these special uh, floss tubes. So they'll do the regular floss tubes, but they also do these special ones. So they've done like, and that's where I first saw them, was the most expensive kit, the most expensive pattern, the most expensive cross stitch book. So just kind of fun. They do, she does, she's great at doing research. She's an amazing um, knowledge base and interesting to listen to. So um, quite, quite enjoyable. So I do suggest uh, Cross Stitch the Globe. And I think I'm only going to do one floss tuber each time because I think I can then focus on what I'm going to say. If I have a whole bunch, then I'm just not giving them the justice or the words they deserve. So is that it? Hmm. I have to change Jimmy's bag. So I, I accidentally, um, one of our cats, well, it was Harry <laughs> peed on this cat on this bag. So I made this um, about a year ago. And this is Black Cat on the Couch. It's a Riolis uh, kit that I won in a giveaway, which was very nice. Um, that was Evertote's giveaway. And um, so then I made it into a project bag. Not not very fancy. I, I overstitched it and all sorts of things. But this is where um, Jimmy lived. And then I, because this got peed on, Thank goodness it didn't go through to the actual stitch. Peed on two things. Also peed on my Sleepy Hollow. Oh, I think I should have actually showed you Sleepy Hollow. I'll show you next time. I didn't get much done on Sleepy Hollow. It might even be here. I don't see it though. Oh, I do have to show you though my Leap Day. I did work on that. But anyways, I switched out the bag because I had to wash this. And I could not find it for the life of me. I forgot that I switched it out. And so it wasn't in the bag I was looking for. And I was searching, searching, searching. So, okay. So I did work on my leap day thing. I also worked on, like I said, um, Sleepy Hollow. But I'm going to just show you the leap day. Sleepy Hollow, I didn't get a lot done. So it's okay. 
my leak day. I don't see the cover photo. Huh. I do not see the cover photo. I do not see the stitch. The cover photo and stitch are not in here. Okay, I'm going to pause and I have to, obviously I got prepped and I put them aside, so I'm going to go find them. I was all prepared. It was right there on the other side of me. Okay, so this is a dimensions kit. This is Wise Owl. This is my um, leap year uh, project. And so it actually divides up into fours um, with a pattern. And so I've started up in this corner here. And my first year, I'm just going to be doing this corner. And then either I'll go down or I'll go across. I'm not sure which. haven't decided. But let's show you what I got done so far. It's a very stiff Ada. But there you go. That's the tree. So I believe the this I think is where the quarter ends. So I did did take the threads a little bit further. But that's what I've worked on so far. So it's almost all half stitches, except for these are leaves. Um but yeah, that that was my um I work on it every leap day and get um it's almost like there's 12 columns so i'll be just keep doing a 12 columns but i kind of i actually went over quite a bit into the next column so if i get my quarter done before the year that's fine too then i have other time to work on other things so we'll just that's my goal so there you go so yeah i'm glad i remembered that i didn't have it in my notes so that's bad when you don't have things in your notes and you follow your notes um, next floss tube, like I said, I'll do a giveaway. I had them all set aside, but I think for my, um, sanity and calmness, I probably won't be able to do 60 in the year. That's okay. Um, I'll do whatever I can and, um, I will do, uh, it next time. I think I'll do it every other time and it'll just, or whenever I'll do it. It, it, it's, it adds a bit to my life. Um, when you do a giveaway, Oop, I dropped a pin. <laughs> uh life updates um well harry was a lot of it um we've been looking for cars so we did a trip looking for a car and kind of undecided on the cars um oh i have let's you'll hear more about this oh i already told you i already told you i signed up for a gaelic course i remember now people commented um uh, what else what else um Training's going well. I did um, a good 27K walk the other day. Our island is, I think our island, if I walk the full length of it, I think it is around 18K long. So that'd be 36K. My 27 was to a place called Balancing Rock um, and just to the entrance and back. Uh, then that night and the next day, my heel was really bad. So I think it was like a little bit of plantar fasciitis flaring up so now I'm I bought some insoles for my slippers and I'm doing some ex calf exercises and stretching of my foot so hopefully um catching that nipping it in the bud but bud bud um I'm gonna go train again on Monday so look otherwise I hope that's our next good day and so I gotta get I only have it is the first weekend of June that's not that far away. We're at April 4th. That's like two months away. That's not a lot of time. I should be so much further in my training. I should be up to 40K right now, but I'm only at, that was supposed to be 30 and I did 27.5. Not quite 30, but it is what it is and that's what it'll be. And so um, it's a 24 hour event and you're just doing a four and a half K loop and you do it as many times as you possibly can or want to. Initially, I wanted to do 100K um my goal now just the way training's gone is 60k so i know how tired and how sore and how much done i wanted to be at 27.5 i gotta get more and more training in so we'll, we'll do what we can anything else i think that's about it um like i said we're we're snow day today but it's going to turn to rain if it hasn't already uh, I don't think the weather's going to be very nice for the next couple of days, so I'm just going to hold myself up and stitch. 
I have, um, besides my finishes, there's also, um, I belong to Full Coverage Fanatics page, and they're doing a little challenge, and so I'm going to do, make Fridays my Full Coverage Fridays, and try to do, work on those challenges. I think they're only 100 or 200 stitches. They'll get me touching some of my old Full Coverage ones, which I haven't touched in a long time, so that is a good thing. So, next time you're going to see some other ones that you haven't seen in a while, so that's good. So, I think that's it for me and that's plenty. So um, I will be inserting some videos. So it'll be a bit longer than what I see right there. But anyways, take care, care everybody. And I will try to see you in a couple of weeks. Um, take care. Bye. So exhausting. Hi, Harry. <laughs>